The purpose of a transmission in a bicycle, or any other transmission, is to transfer the power from the foot to the power that propels the bike forward, or the force of the foot provides a torque, which provides tension on the chain, which provides a torque for the back wheel. That torque provides a frictional force to push the ground backwards, which is equal to the frictional force of the ground pushing forward on the wheel. And so because of the difference in radii, you can have a mechanical advantage that gives you more force on the chain than the foot, for instance. But you lose speed because this radius moves the chain slower than the foot moves. You can see that because both rotate about this point, so this foot moves further and faster than this chain. What's the same across here is the power. As long as there's no dissipative forces like friction, the power that the foot puts into the pedal, which is the force of the foot times the velocity that the foot's moving, is going to be equal to the power around this hub, which is the torque provided by the foot times omega. So every one of these is a force term and a velocity term. So this is the torque of the pedals times omega of this hub. So the power provided by the feet are equal to the power transferred in the hub, which is equal to the power transferred by the chain, which is the tension in the chain, the force of the chain, times the speed of the chain, which is equal to the power transmitted to the back wheel, the torque provided to this wheel by the chain, times omega of the back wheel, which is the power provided to the bicycle, the force on the bike pushing it forward, times the speed of the bike. What this transmission does for us is it allows us to balance force versus velocity. When I move very fast, there's no way my feet could move fast enough to provide force if I wasn't able to shift gears. I can find what that power is by finding the speed of the pedal and multiplying it by the force of the pedal, for instance. Because I give you omega in 60 revolutions per minute, which winds up being one revolution per second, or about 6.3 radians per second. And then I multiply it by the radius of the pedal, and I find that my foot is moving about one and a quarter meters per second. And I multiply that by the force that I'm pushing on the pedal with, and I get 250 watts. So that's the power that I put into the pedals, is equal to the power at every step of the transmission. Okay, so what happens when we switch gears? We change it so the chain is on a gear that has twice the radius. So what's that going to change? Well, the chain has the same tension if I'm pushing just as hard, but now it's pulling on twice the radius, so that's going to double my torque. I have two times the torque on this wheel, and that's going to provide two times the force pushing the ground back, two times the force pushing the bike forward. So I doubled my power. The power is now 500 watts. But what's the cost to me? The cost to me is that, the cost to me is this wheel is spinning at the same speed the moment I change gears. And so now the chain is coming off at twice the speed, which means I have to move my foot at twice the RPMs. So I'm pushing with the same force and getting out twice the force I was before. But I'm going to have to spin my legs twice as fast, which means I'm putting out twice the power. And so the experience you get when you downshift in a car or a bike is you go from mm, mm, because you're spinning the motor faster or you're spinning your legs faster. And because now you have twice the power, you're going to find that you accelerate. So again, when you downshift on a bike or a car, you'll find that the motor, your legs, are spinning faster, but you're able to accelerate now because you've increased, you've increased the power, you've increased the force on your vehicle.